हेलो एंड वेलकम डियर व्यूअर्स टू द अनदर टॉपिक ऑन टाइप्स ऑफ स्टेबिलिटी स्टडीज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एग्जिबिट बैचेस स्टेबिलिटी स्टडी इज अ इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट एंड द प्रोडक्ट रजिस्ट्रेशन और फाइलिंग टू द रेगुलेटरी बॉडीज एंड इफ दिस स्टेबिलिटी डेटा इज नॉट अवेलेबल और इफ इट इज नॉट प्रॉपर एज पर द रेगुलेशन then the product cannot be submitted or the product can get rejected by the authorities and it can also be refused to receive by the regulatory authorities like us fda so these stability studies are very much important to be understood and the professional should know how many or what are the stability study types required for the exhibit batches and for the regulatory filing purpose so why these stability studies are required so these stability studies are required to study the effect of temperature and humidity and sometime light on the formulation and these studies are performed in the final containers which are to be marketed these stability studies provide the essential information on how the quality of the formulation varies over time due to the effect of the temperature and the humidity this uh, stability study enables the establishment of the recommended storage conditions what are the storage conditions uh, required to be given to the formulation and also the establishment of pack for storage and marketing sometimes the bulk containers are evaluated for holding the finished product and in process material also then establishment of the recommendation of shelf life period and retest period that means stability studies are required for establishment and to provide recommendation for the shelf life and retest period of the formulation now coming to the types of the stability studies formal or regular stability studies are performed on the final formulation in the different bags for example the bags which are to be marketed bags and these packs are loaded onto the stability on long term condition intermediate conditions and the accelerated conditions as per the guidelines and mainly the ics guidelines are followed and these conditions are established based on the climatic zones then hold time study hold time studies are performed to have a data for how much time the material can be hold or can be uh, stored before the next process then photo stability study this study this uh, photo stability study involves the study of effect of light on the formulation then polymorphic stability study this study involves the study of change in the polymorphic form of the api due to the manufacturing process and due to the storage period then comes to the in use stability so in use stability study is performed on the multi dose containers for the formulations which are to be sold into the multi dose containers for those type of formulations in use stability testing is done and this study is done to study the impact of the environmental conditions and the storage conditions or storage environment storage temperature humidity on the multi dose container product stability then freeze thaw study or cyclic stress study these studies are generally performed onto the semi solid formulations and also onto the liquid formulations to study the sudden change or rapid change in the temperature 
how it affects the formulation stability that may be physical stability or chemical stability so these free stow stability studies are performed to study the rapid changes in the temperature which may occur during the transport then open open plate study or open plot study so open plot study is done for some of the products and for some of the markets by the applicants to study the effect of environmental condition or room room temperature conditions or long term storage conditions on to the formulation in open condition so these are the generalized types for the stability studies now the formal stability studies these are performed as per the ich guidelines and these are ich q1a q1b q1c q1d q1e and q1f so these guidelines are there for the formal or regular stability studies generally the ich guidelines give the clear and correct information about the requirements for the stability studies for formal regular stability studies three exhibit batches are required and these are to be performed on all the strains in all the marketed packs six month stability data is required at accelerated and long term condition and if this accelerated condition shows the significant effect or significant impact on to the formulation due to the temperature and humidity of accelerated condition then the data of intermediate condition is required to be submitted in this study the orientation pack orientation studies are also done for liquids and semi solids these formal studies are required for the establishment and recommendation of storage condition establishment of pack for storage and marketing and holding then establishment and recommendation for the shelf life period and retest period so this is the formal stability study requirement for the formulation then coming to the whole time study so whole time study is performed generally on the one batch and by some of the applicants it is performed on two batches this whole time study is performed to study the hold time effect on to the product stability and the truck product cqs so this is done for establishing the hold time of in process materials which may be for some hours to some days this study is performed in simulated packs so simulated packs are nothing but the in process material storage packs and these are the simulated packs of the packs or in process containers which are to be used into the commercial scale then sequential hold time study and processing is also studied in this sequential hold time study the material is holded for some time and then the next process is done then once again that next process material is hold and the next process is done for example a tablet formulation if the blend is required to be hold for compression then lubricated blend will be hold for some days or some time that may be 7 days 15 days 1 month or 45 days and after that the compression will be done after compression the core tablet will be hold and film coating will be done if film coating is there so like this in sequential hold time study and processing the effect of hold time of the in process material can be studied then coming to the photo stability study this is done on one batch and on finished product in the proposed marketing packs photo stability testing is important to ensure that the light exposure does not lead to the unacceptable changes into the formulation and it does not lead to the formation of the impurities photo stability studies should be conducted on at least one primary batch that is exhibit batch 
and the guideline for this is ICHQ1B. So, photostability study is done on the formulation into the proposed marketing pack and also in that study the product is kept as such as a dark control and open then in the final marketing pack also to study the impact of the light and also how the packaging is protecting to the formulation from the effect of light generally photo stability study gives clear idea about the photo labile formulations or photo labile drug substances if the drug substance is photo labile then some protection is required to be given by the packaging material from the effect of light the guideline dealing with this stability study is ICHQ1B then polymorphic stability study generally for polymorphic stability study three batches are used and these three batches of the finished product are charged into the stability studies in the final market pack on finished product in marketing pack all the batches all the strengths are loaded onto the long term and accelerated conditions to study any change in the polymorphic form due to the manufacturing and storage of the formulation so data is generated for long term and accelerated condition into the final pack this study is required to study form change due to manufacturing process and the storage condition so in this study api placebo and finished formulation or finished drug products in the market pack is charged onto the stability and this stability study is done along with the formal stability studies drug substance api is studied for initial 3 months and the 6 months and the xrd testing is performed to check whether there is a form change into the formulation then coming to the in use stability so it is required to be done for the formulations which are to be marketed into the multiple dose containers whenever there are multiple dose containers that time the in use stability is must this is generally done on one or two batches and the product is stored in open condition and the in use condition is simulated at the recommended storage conditions for example if a multi dose container contains 30 tablets and the dose is one tablet per day that means in use the patient will be taking one tablet per day the patient will open the container one time in a day and will consume one tablet so this simulation will be done in the in use study this study is used to establish the in use stability period for the products in the multi dose containers then coming to the phase thaw studies so this study is generally done for the liquid formulations and also sometimes for the semi solid formulations this phase thaw study or cyclic stress study studies the impact of rapid or extreme change in the temperature like it may happen during the transportation of product as it is uncommon for the transport of the product that the weather condition may change or sometime there might be delay in the transportation so this rapid change may be there in the temperature and these rapid changes may have adverse impact on the formulation stability which may be physical stability or chemical stability so this uh, freeze thaw studies are required to be done to have a clear understanding about how the rapid change in the temperature is going to impact the formulation then the product stability is checked and if there is any significant change in the cqs that means quality attributes or critical quality attributes 
then the formulation is required to be redesigned. Pre-store studies are generally done for three cycles and these are re recommended for the liquid products. Pre-store stability testing is highly recommended for the liquid based products. These products may experience phase separation. So phase separation may be due to the rapid change in the temperature. So it can negatively impact the formulation function. Freeze thaw testing is conducted by exposing the product to freezing temperatures approximately around minus 10 degree for 24 hours and then the product is allowed to thaw or to come to room temperature for the 24 hours and then this is placed at the higher temperature for example 30 degree or 45 degree for 24 hours then also it is taken from there and it is kept at room temperature then it is stored into freezing condition so these cycles are repeat, repeated for three times and after three cycles if there is no significant change that means the product is sufficiently stable for the transport or you can say that the freeze thaw study is passing or cyclic stress study is passing. The minimum temperature and the stress conditions are product to product basis. These are required to be undertaken as per the product and can be changed from product to product. So, if there is any significant change at the extreme conditions, then the freeze-thaw temperatures can be a little bit relaxed or the formulation can be revisited or reformulated or the other storage recommendations can be provided. Then comes to the open plate or open pot study. This is not the regular type of study. Generally, this study is done to have an understanding of the impact of open condition onto the formulation. And finished product is kept in the open pot without any cover at recommended storage condition. And this study may go for 7 days, 15 days or 1 month till the product shows significant change. To study the impact of recommended storage condition on product performance and the CQS, this study is performed. And for this study, the OS cannot be applicable because this open plate uh, condition is not a recommended type of storage condition. That's why OS cannot be applicable. So, these are the types of stability studies required for exhibit batches and the product filings. Some of the market and some of the applicants are not performing the open plot studies, but the other studies are required to be performed. And also, the FISTO study is uh, not required generally for the solid oral formulations. FISTO study or cyclic stress study is generally required for the liquid and semi solid formulations. Then, the orientation studies is also required for the semi solid formulation and the liquid formulations so this is regarding the stability study types for the exhibit batches i hope you might have got a good information from this video keep watching the videos published on pharma learning in depth channel please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching